I choose to rope Azul as opposed to doing join up work with him in this picture because one that I have short panels on this round corral Azul's never been touched by a human hand or restrained by a fence he's been free roaming and the horse that I'm riding at this point is 25 years old and he's been with penned with Azul for company I don't want to tighten the rope on Azul I just hold him by hand because I'm not trying to instill fear in him but more more work towards his curiosity and not scare him but just allow him to think about what I'm going to ask of him and try to think it through. My methods are pretty basic I think. I try to work off of Azul's curiosity. I've, I've found over the years I had the experience to ride range with wild horses and curiosity is a big part of their life and so I'm trying to relate to his curiosity with this rope around his neck and reward any try he gives me. Try is a capital letter word that doesn't always mean he's going to do it right, but he's going to try to figure it out without panicking, without trying to fight, or without trying to flee. And so, even just him turning his head to me when I put pressure on the rope, looking at me, even going the wrong way is a try. He's, he's trying to figure it out because his other options are to fight and to flee. And so, the fact that he's not doing that means that he's trying really hard to figure out what's right and I really want to reward that with a lot of loose rope and give him time to comprehend what's going on and and just process it and you'll see as the videos go on that for me th this method works really well I'm going to continue working on Azul's curiosity and use that to get him to come come to me instead of me forcing myself on him. I add gentle pressure on the rope, which you can't really see in the videos, but I add gentle pressure on the rope to encourage him to come towards me. <clears throat> and at the same time as I'm doing this, I'm teaching him to respect the rope, to be halter broke. To lead in so many ways it's just using his curiosity to train himself like he's really curious about me you can see in the pictures he keeps reaching up to sniff me at, at no time in the beginning of this am I reaching to him and trying to force myself upon him I'm letting him him come to me and allow him to check me out and make sure that I'm okay I'm just a foreign object to him. He's never been in such close contact, and so I add gentle pressure, asking him to come, teaching him to give to the rope. And his curiosity just keeps bringing him back. If he wants to go away, I've got no problems with that. I'll give him the rope to do it. If I would was to restrain him at that point all I would do is teach him to fight I don't want him to fight I want him to be a willing partner I want him to come to me I want him to I want him to trust me and trust comes from the affection I'm giving him you can see in the video that I'm starting to pet him he's starting to stand there he really starts to soak up affection he in a way he's love starved he just he wants somebody else to you know caress him to enjoy the feeling of it <clears throat> as the videos go on you know I move back with my horse so that I can be in a better position to to pet him in more than just his face I'm, I'm now reaching down to his neck and petting his neck and and he's not moving away as you can see he's got a rested leg He's very comfortable with being there. He's very curious. He keeps coming back and sniffing me, and that's that's the kind of thing I want to work on. I want to 
encourage curiosity. I don't want to encourage fear. And to restrain him, to force things upon him, only encourages fear. Curiosity is the best horse you can ride, is a curious horse. Like, there's no spook in them. They're curious about what's ahead of them. And wild horses are so full of that. They can't spend their life running from every little thing they see, every new thing that comes about, every, you know, every every time a wind blows and a tree falls down, they can't just run non-stop. So they become curious. That's the way of the, the wild horse. 